or if you primary, I've got a STEM challenge for you for virtual STEM night. I want you to practice being engineers and architects, and I want you to design a shelter for animals to go into when it gets cold. So how I came up with this challenge is that my second grade class had learned about the basic needs of animals, and one of those was shelters. And I started thinking the weather's getting cold, and some animals don't do so well in the cold weather. Now, we have bears in our mountains who who hibernate and they do great. You know, we have squirrels and if you look outside, they're gathering nuts, they're getting ready for the cold weather. But certain animals like lost pets, so cats and dogs who've just strayed too far from home, they don't do so well, specifically ones that don't have that thick furry coat because they can't keep themselves as warm. So what I want you to do is come up with a, with a design for a little shelter that they could go into to stay warm. Now, I have a friend who works at a veterinarian's office and she helped me out. She gave me a few tips and pointers to, to think about as I design these, or as you design these shelters. Um, I asked her what animals need protection the most. And she told me that it's animals that have slick coats. So dogs like huskies and really fluffy cats, they don't need shelter as much as, you know, little chihuahuas or animals that don't have that thick coat. And then I asked her, you know, what should we use when we make a shelter? Should we use blankets or should we use outside material? And she said you could use either one. Um, in my shelter that I created, I used a blanket. But in my husband's shelter, he, he used things that you find on the outside. But as long as it'll keep your animal warm, that's all that matters. And then my last question is, it, should it be big or small? And my friend said that you could make it big, that way the animals can get in there, and that way that if there was more than one, they could help keep each other warm. So I'm going to show you a picture of my blueprint for my shelter, and then I'll show you a picture of my husband's blueprint, and we'll talk about them, and then I'll send you on your way to get started. So I designed a shelter, and I thought about my shelter being on my porch or in my driveway beside my garage, and I used a cardboard box, and I cut a hole in the front, so I was thinking probably an Amazon box, just cut a little hole and then I put a bowl of food outside so that way it might attract the lost puppy or the lost cat. So I put a bowl of food out here so it'd be know that it's welcome. I even put a welcome sign. And then I got a fuzzy blanket to put on the inside. So that's the blue that you're seeing. And then I was thinking, mm, I really love dogs. So I even put a dog toy in there. Now, if you were thinking more on the cats, you could put a cat toy, but I love dogs, so I thought a dog toy. And this is my blueprint, so this is what I would use when I was designing my project and before I went and started cutting up my box. Then I have a materials list, which I would like for you to put on your blueprint as well, so that way you know what you need. Now, this one is my husband's, and he decided he would use logs or sticks, and he would stack them up, and then he would put hay in the bottom. That way the animals could go in and that the hay could keep the animals warm. Now, he only drew two sticks here, but he planned on using more than two, but he wanted you to be able to see the hay that's in there. So whichever you decide, I'm sure it'll be great. So I want you to practice being those architects and make me some awesome blueprints of your shelter. And when you're done, you can have your parents drop a picture in the comments below our video, or you can bring them and show them to me in my classroom. Can't wait to see what you make. 